is happening everybody my name's seven and welcome to another fortnite video i hope this one helps you if it does hit that subscribe smash that like and of course today we're going to be doing another giveaway we actually got Django's tv on twitter won the last one if you see this seven logo appear somewhere in the video it'll be very very small and it'll appear for about seven seconds if you find it send me a screenshot on twitter the first person that does this will win either either an xbox ps4 or a steam gift card but let's get straight into the video let's take a look at number five and wish you all the very best of luck in finding that logo now number five is a place that i've mentioned in my previous set of videos which is what i call basketball now this clip you're going to see in the background was beastly it was a very very good landing now what you want to do is first of all come down land on top of this hill and there's sometimes a spawn location of a actual chest that spawns on this overhang on the edge it's a really really cool location to come to and obviously rng worked in my favor i got grenades and i also got a grenade launcher i got a nice kill there with the grenades and then there is another chest which we know that spawns inside of the building which is just right in front of me i see a guy inside i risk it for the kill and i almost destroy i almost destroyed that chest we'll go back and have a look at that in a moment but there is another chest that sometimes could spawn on this basketball court right here now if any of you did watch that last video you'll know about this location don't worry i'll be showing you some other ones in this video as well and if you've never never seen these before then these new landing locations for you will of course give you a little bit more variety when playing Fortnite and that's exactly what we need to keep the game interesting. Now luckily we didn't destroy the chest that was upstairs in the attic so thankfully I was able to go up and go and get some lovely loot as well with that shield always go for the shields the shields are op they are a must there's also a set of ammo boxes you can find as well up in the attic like there was one here we're just uh, about to go and open there's also one when you don't fire grenades to the window that you can find downstairs in the living room of this building as well but there is a potential of three chest spawns weapons that spawn in a house as well as some ammo boxes as well so if you land here whether it's in team or duos or by yourself you're going to be in a pretty good position as long as those chest spawns spawn in because you're able to then go over to fatal fields you can also then go over to salty uh, as well and you've also got like the golden bridge if you want to go over there as well so it's in a great spot if you want to go and explore after this location Taking a look at number four, we are going to be going over to the location, which I've also previously mentioned on as Pleasant House. Now, the reason for this is because just outside of Pleasant Park. Now, all of the locations in this video will be unmarked and they will be very useful because they're going to be a great starting point for the people that want to get kitted up and then head into a major named location. Now, Pleasant House is in a little cove of trees. You don't get as much loot here as you do on the fifth one that we've just shown you just there, but it is still a good place. And especially if you get the look you can get up to two chest spawns so there was one that sometimes spawns on the front section of the overhanging part of the house but you can see through the left window if there is one and i noticed there isn't a chest in there at this time so i land on the balcony instead get armed up just in case anybody comes and i start looking around and when i start looking around i realize up on the second floor without actually having to destroy any walls there was already an exposed chest so i've never actually had this one before but that basically made me aware that you could also get a secondary one as well so definitely go and check that spot without a doubt you can also have them sometimes spawn under the stairwell as well in the house and also there's all these ammo boxes and different weapons and ammo that will spawn around the place so definitely don't miss out on that like i said at the bottom of those stairs there you can also get those items so it's definitely worth checking out now this place is also great if you want to go straight into pleasant park after being in pleasant house or if you don't want to do that you can go over you can go and loot some of the outhouses or the smaller buildings and if nobody is contesting you you might as well destroy the car and part of the building as well just to grab those early resources to kind of really help you get further on in the actual game itself everything matters let's move on and take a look at our third location all of these are going to really change the way that you play the game and spice up your locations for landing now this one is the one i call ice cream van there is a couple of ice cream vans that you can jump to and as you go and see in the game they're really well designed i mean if that was something i saw in real life i'd be pretty chuffed with it there was a very long jump that i had to do at this location so i was luckily enough to not be contested when i landed here i had plenty of time but as i have already showed on the map you land at this location you get at the very most two chests and you get one that spawns on top of the actual ice cream van and then you get one that spawns on the side of it like here 
So it goes children, caution, because there's loots and weapons and all sorts of crazy stuff. Now, you're in this area and there's also a house you can go to if the zone's in your favour. That's just on the outskirts. You've also got a tower you can go to just outside of the Wayland Woods. Or you've also got a hanging tree or tomato tree or whatever you wish to call it. As well as two sets of settlements of houses and then the town itself to actually go and loot. So this place is really, really handy if you're just like out in the sticks. You don't want to be in that direct conflicted area like a big city. But you want to get the good loot. Now, the more chests you get... Obviously, the better you're going to give yourself at getting more weapons. So definitely follow this loot run. It's awesome. Now, with these buildings, you tend to get a on the lower roof, as you can see here. If you climb up and knock out this wall here, you tend to always find a chest. As long as you can hear the chest, of course, then you will tend to find it in this location. So I always build a little quick ramp up, jump up there and go and do it. And if it's a pain in my bum, then obviously I'm going to knock this off here there we go and we're gonna go and leave now we're pretty much set up with the weapons that we have we can check the basement we can check the building across the road we can go over to the the pleasant uh the, you know the tree as well and also these other different areas and then head on into the game itself there's so much loot that can be collected around this area and if no one's here you've got it all to yourself taking a look at number two i haven't really got a name for this one so I don't really know what I'm going to call it, but it's an awesome place that's not too far away from Pleasant Park, and it's also pretty close to Loot Lake. Now, I am so gutted. What you want to do is, as you just see now, flown past that little dirt patch. That's the patch I was marking up. Sometimes there's a chest that spawns in that dirty area. Because there wasn't one, what you want to make sure that you do is don't land on it. Always check from the air first, and if there isn't a chest, you want to turn right and you want to land on this factory. And then what you want to do is jump around and see if you can hear a chest. Depending on which side that you hear the chest on, smash that piece of uh, roofing, fall down, and you're better go and get yourself a weapon, just like I have here. Once you've looted that building, all you need to do is go across to the next door building, and then you, all you have to do is go and find the other chest. The chest can spawn either downstairs, just like this one is under the stairwell, or it can spawn upstairs in the same position that the one we've just looked at actually did. Once you finish this location, all you need to do is head over and there's a separated abandoned building with its roof damaged, etc. I bumped into two dudes here, but there was loot already on this guy, so I managed to pick up what I could for the moment because I did start getting attacked, um, so I started getting shot in the back. But I managed to get that shield portion that was mega important. There's also a chest after this that you can get up in that building as well, sometimes if it spawns. I luckily got bandaged up, I managed to get the kill, and then I'll be able to show you just after getting this kill, there is a set of caravans and a little campfire where sometimes you can also find another chest as well as some more loot boxes, so it's really really handy, it's like a long loot run of lots of different factories, buildings and hills, but it all begins with that beginning hill on top. Now, for our final location, this is kind of like an easter eggy kind of location. It's not too far away from Fatal Fields and also Moisty Mire as well. So if you're somebody who likes that bottom side of the map, then this is going to be a great location for you. Now, it depends once again on chest spawn location as to whether this is a great one. But the advice I can provide you is there's a stockpile of cars and vehicles that you see just here. You want to make sure you land on this one first because it's the most awkward one to climb. Sometimes there'll be a chest that spawns on here like I got very good luck and got this one. And at the same time you can also get a chest that spawns on top of the lorry that has a chair on it now as proof i actually did land here on a different occasion unfortunately i didn't last very long because it was directly underneath where the plane uh, where the bus flew under so what you want to do is when you're standing here you want to jump on these and it'll bounce you up and it'll land on top and as you can see from this clip here there was this one time i landed and i managed to get an epic scar like the, the location just before as well man i managed to get a legendary there too but once you sorted out uh, collecting those ideas like those items in those areas there the idea is to go over to the two buildings like we just seen in the previous one there are two sets of abandoned buildings that you can go to so this one's just not too far behind it you can find chests in these locations just like i did once you've looted these areas you've already got all the loot that you want from them what you can do is either go to fatal fields and there might be people there there might not be you can either head across the street uh, all the way along to the other abandoned building you can go to moisty mile you can even go to the prison if you wish as well but i went over to the other abandoned building and i got another chest so i was able to get like three chests so far and then there's another location here as well just before we finish it after collecting this bolt action where there is a lorry just to the left hand side of this building as you're heading towards the prison now up on the hill as you can see the lorry is a flatbed on the top of this flatbed there's a tv sometimes a chest and so also sometimes uh, spawned items now i found uh, i believe actually another shield from opening this up in, in the past um and i'm not sure what we're going to get this time what did we get this time 
Let's open it up. We managed to get a semi. We also got some ammo. We also got some resources. So this area is quite uh, technical in the sense that there's lots of different places and spread out over a vast little area, but the, no one really comes here. So it's a good place to land. And it's also a good place just to begin if you want to head off into the other locations surrounding. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I really do hope that it's inspired you and helped your gameplay. Thank you for watching and best of luck to the person that finds the logo. Take care. Peace.